Hi, I'm Trevor Nevis, the CEO of GFE Global. We're here at our proof of concept farm in Guanacosta, Costa Rica. GFE's primary expertise is Atrophococcus cultivation, intercropping, and oil extraction solutions for biofuel feedstocks. Atrophococcus requires approximately five years to mature for full production. The standalone model for Atrophococcus is similar to orange groves or almond trees where a substantial upfront capital investment is required for the first few years. Ultimately, this may be difficult for farmers and government programs to consider Hotrophocircus plantation. GFE Global has developed a successful business model that provides bridge capital during these first few crucial years. This model is intercropping cash crops with Hotrophocircus. We have successfully planted and taken to market several different cash crops we have intercropped with Hotrophocircus. GFE Global has developed this economic model and can determine if other prospective Atrofa plantations can adopt this intercrop business model. When evaluating the feasibility of an intercrop business model for any location, GFE will assess the market, environmental, social, and political conditions. GFE works with local experts, agronomists, and government officials for the best possible solution for each particular region. Let's take a quick tour of a proof of concept farm in Guanacosta, Costa Rica. Currently, I'm standing in between a two-year-old Hatropha plantation. What we see here is we've just planted our second crop of yellow squash, which in Costa Rica they refer to as ayote. Previous to this, we experimented with watermelon, which was extremely successful. So let's take a look at the ayote. What we've got here is an inner crop that is actually only about a week old. We just finished a harvest about a week and a half ago of ayote squash, and you can tell uh, that even within a week, we've already started to get some seedlings here. What, we, what we're looking at for our intercropping model is really a successful cash flow. So some of the criteria for an important crop is, one, is it indigenous to the marketplace or is there actually a route to market? And secondly, how quickly can we actually take a crop, put it in the ground and turn it into cash? Uh, for this particular crop, we found that uh, in Costa Rica, the ayote or the yellow squash is perfect for our needs here. Okay, now let's go see our chili peppers and our papaya. Each section of the, the farm here is lined with hotropha trees. This is a good example of where we're using uh, 14 to 16 month old hotropha trees to provide a wind block for the chili peppers. Let's go take a look at the pepper harvest we have today. See, so this is uh, here the, the habaneros that we're uh, harvesting today. We also uh, are growing a cayenne pepper uh, as well. The other system is what GFE calls a continual cash crop system. And in this scenario, we're intercropping larger parcels of land within a plantation, dedicating the majority of the land for the intercrop and interspersing with hatrofa. In this case, we've sectioned part of this farm and dedicated that to the habanero chili pepper as our cash crop. It's an excellent choice for this region because of the route to market and its ability to produce for 24 months. Excellent for that continual cash crop system. So the idea is, is that we're kickstarting the cash flow for the small farmer using a main crop uh, and then as we develop, we'll intercrop in Hatrofa. Here we are in a section of the farm where we have actually designated this area for a papaya plantation. We've got about three hectares here. And this tree I'm standing next to right now is about six months old. In about another month to six weeks, we'll be harvesting papaya out of this plantation. I was really excited to see how well they're doing. Each one of these trees will produce anywhere from 80 to 120 papaya fruit per year. And what that means to GFE is that we will entirely cover the cost of our hydrofa plantation with this single crop alone. Here in Guanacosta, Costa Rica, we're currently proving two different intercrop systems, a bridge capital intercrop system and a continual cash system. The traditional row by row intercrop system or bridge capital intercropping is excellent, almost required for a small farmer plantation. But we also believe at GFE that the large plantation owners can take advantage of that same concept and help offset their upfront costs. Sustainable solutions or green technology has been developing for numerous years. And finally, green is gaining strength in the marketplace. 
GFE is committed to developing sustainable solutions. Please join us in these efforts. I hope you enjoyed our tour of the farm today. Please see us again in Guanacaste, Costa Rica.